The Council of Canadian Academies is a not-for-profit organization that publishes evidence-based assessments written by expert panels on issues in the public interest. Their latest report, Healthy Animals, Healthy Canada, examines approaches to animal health risk assessment in Canada. Canada's people, animals, and environment are intrinsically linked, from our agricultural industries to fishing and aquaculture, to wildlife and domestic pets, the health of our animal populations is central to our own health, the environment, and the economy. We know that some diseases with animal origins can cause illness in humans, such as H1N1, which resulted in Canada's largest vaccination campaign to date. Many animal diseases can also have major economic consequences. For example, the SARS outbreak is estimated to have cost the Toronto economy close to $1 billion, while the 2003 BSE scare cost Canada close to $6 billion. Animal diseases shared among wildlife and domestic animal populations, such as foot and mouth, can spread quickly, upsetting both local ecosystems and economies. Increased global trade and migration, higher population densities, climate change, all affect the nature of risks to animal and human health. This makes the process of assessing and managing the risks of animal health and disease increasingly complex. To ensure animal health risk assessment practices are on the leading edge to protect people, animals, the environment and economy, in 2009, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency called on the Council of Canadian Academies to assess approaches to animal health risk assessment in this country. A risk assessment is a structured, systematic analysis that can tell us the likelihood of a threat occurring and, if it does happen, what the consequences might be. Individuals make personalized decisions on risk assessment every day. Formal risk assessments are conducted in fields such as business and engineering. For example, engineers assess the risks posed by earthquakes when considering building design. With respect to animal health, Understanding the likelihood and consequences of a potential disease outbreak assists governments, industries, and other stakeholders to respond quickly and effectively. Twelve experts from Canada, the US, and UK have produced an evidence-based report called Healthy Animals, Healthy Canada that examines the complexities of animal health risk assessment in Canada. For Canada to be at the forefront of risk assessment, our approaches to assess and manage risks can be enhanced. The panel found that when managing risks, a broader range of consequences need to be considered, such as indirect wage and job losses, psychosocial stress in communities, increased demands on the healthcare system, quarantine or culling of animals, just to name a few. The panel wants to see more highly trained experts integrating tools and methods from diverse fields and applying them to risk assessment. For example, a cost-benefit analysis would allow for comparisons of the potential costs and benefits of each management option. They highlight the need for transparency and a wider consultation process with people on the front lines of animal health, such as Canadian farmers. Finally, they recognize that resources need to be strategically allocated and risk assessments prioritized so that day-to-day -day assessments can be completed, while other dedicated human and financial resources are available for research into future risks. The panel's key finding is that an integrated, multi-dimensional approach for animal health risk assessments is needed. Integrated. Linkages between animal health, human health, and the environment Multidimensional, recognizing signs and hazards of a potential problem, considering a full range of consequences, and discussing and documenting decisions for the future. Through such an approach, Canada can be at the leading edge, thereby further protecting the health of our animals, our families, and strengthening our economy and environment. To learn more about animal health risk assessment in Canada, or to read the expert panel's full report, visit www.scienceadvice.ca